There are people right now across the state who are inside the justice system but can't afford to pay for an attorney or court cost. Well, just hours ago, state lawmakers and leaders spoke about setting up a statewide standard for how the courts handle those who can't pay. State House Bureau Chief David Williams explains. In Indiana, court fees, fines, and costs can reach hundreds or even thousands of dollars in criminal cases. If you can't afford it, that's a lot of money. It's expensive to be poor in Indiana. In some counties, Indiana's Public Defenders Council says people can be rearrested and thrown in jail for not paying those fines, fees, and costs. We're removing people from the families, from the community, from their jobs. Right now, it's up to the judges in your county to decide the threshold of whether or not someone is able to pay for an attorney or court costs in a criminal case. There's no consistency. It's uh, all over the map. Literally, 92 counties, you know, one county uh, almost every person's deemed in jail, the other are not. And that's impacting the system. Well, you see some counties over a point, some under a point. Uh, public defenders, uh, people are going months without ever having representation, uh, or they're overrepresented, meaning that the system's overburdened. So, public defenders in that area have too many cases and are providing ineffective assistance because they can't keep up with the volume. That's a big reason lawmakers and state officials talked about creating statewide uniformity Tuesday, especially when it comes to being appointed a public defender. On average, the Indiana Public Defenders Council represents 75% of people charged with crimes. In Marion County. What we are proposing and what's being considered is some threshold. So, determined by income, determined by what uh, programs a person may be qualified for. The council argues consistency among counties and courts would keep attorneys from being stretched too thin and even keep people out of jail. Increase their likelihood of having a positive outcome in the case. And that's something officials say you should care about. Everyone in our state has, in some way, been affected by crime. You're either paying for it as a taxpayer or you've been a victim, or maybe you're a person who has been convicted or accused of a crime. We should all really care about the direction our state takes in providing the lawyers for those folks. The committee's next meeting is September 18th in the State House. I'm David Williams, Swish TV News 8.